to make a really great gravy, what you do, start with, with chicken broth, with commercial chicken broth. Add to it trimmings of the onions that you've used for some of the, for the stuffing. You can add the stuff that comes from inside the bird, the turkey neck. You can add the giblets. You don't want to add the liver because the liver is, is really delicate and it'll just completely fall apart. Just let that simmer. You're going to make a really good broth with that. When the turkey's done, when it comes out of the oven, you know, you want to always give the turkey 30 to 45 minutes after it's come out of the oven to rest before you carve it so that all of the, all of the meat juices can recirculate. In that 30 or 45 minutes, take the roasting pan that you've used, pour off all but like two tablespoons of the fat, add a couple tablespoons of flour, whisk that in really well and give that a, let that cook for just a, like two to three minutes just to kind of like take the raw flavor of the flour off. Then start adding the, the, uh, the broth, add it a ladle at a little time, and whisk it as, as, uh, as you add it. You'll see, I mean, at first it's gonna be like a paste. Then you add a little bit more, it'll loosen up. Finally, you'll get to the point that you really want. At that point, just let it simmer for a couple minutes, chop the giblets, pull off any of the meat from the turkey neck, do that, you know, that kind of thing, add it back in. And most important, of course, before you serve it, taste it. Now, if, if you've, dry brine the turkey, the gravy already might have enough salt in it, so you, you, you want to be careful with that. Don't just automatically start dumping salt in. Taste it first. Black pepper is always really good. A little bit of sage is good. It's going to be a great gravy. Don't worry about it.